Alright, I'm sure you're going to get plenty of comments about how to do this in After Effects, and After Effects would be really great at doing this effect, but that wasn't the question, so let's figure it out in Premiere. Uh, let's start with our image on a timeline. You can do this with footage, I'm just going to use a still I happen to have handy, and there's really two parts to this. Uh, there's the wipe on, and then there's that click into place. And uh, you can just do those one at a time. So let's uh, start with the wipe. It's a radial wipe. We're going to apply that to the layer, and it looks like by default it reveals what's underneath, which is exactly wrong. So let's set it to start at 100, and we're going to move down a bit and go to 0. And then we'll set it to go counterclockwise so that it looks like the example. Also, let's set some easing on those keyframes to make them a little easier on the eyes. Now those are some handsome keyframes. I'm going to want to duplicate this layer a couple of times. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. Undo, undo, undo. Next, let's set a circular mask on the center of the image. And now let's duplicate the layer as many times as we want slices. Then let's go down the column, expanding the size of the mask. I encourage you to figure out the math for your own footage so that the bars are nice and evenly sized. What I'm going to do here is guess. And now if we play it back, it looks like nothing. So let's offset these layers. You can either move the keyframes in each clip or just move the clip, uh, which is what I'm going to do. So I can see how they're doing in my timeline and that's going to make it a little bit easier to adjust later. There we go, that looks kind of like a thing. I'm just going to line up the ends of these clips. That's something that would be easier to do in After Effects. Uh, then I'm going to set rotation keyframes. If you were thinking ahead, you could have placed one of these in the first clip before we duplicated everything. But that's fine, that's fine. This is generally like a good way to uh, kind of get randomized looking transitions is uh, to set everything where you want it to land and lock that in place and then go back and mess everything up. So I'm just gonna go back in time a little bit and adjust the rotation on each one of these clips. Mm, yeah, this would look better if I uh, remember to turn the mask feathering down to zero, but not so much better that it's worth doing a second take of this thing. Well, that's most of it. I mean, you could apply some easing to these keyframes. You can go around and uh, uh, adjust the timing on things so it doesn't look quite so terrible. This is the kind of effect that you could probably make look really nice if you spent more than five minutes on it. 